All right, so here's how to install Kali Linux for Windows subsystem for Linux. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to start, or just hit your Windows key, and type in turn Windows features on or off. These instructions work for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So Hyper-V does not need to be checked. Uh, in fact, I recommend not checking it. It turns on everything you need in the background, and then scroll all the way down and check this Windows subsystem for Linux. As soon as you hit OK, it's going to prompt you to download a bunch of stuff through Windows Update. This can take a while, and then you have to reboot your computer. The whole process can take a while, especially with slower internet. The next step is to go to the Microsoft Store, download Kali. Now, I already have it pre-installed, but this um, is a large download. I believe it's around 5 gigabytes or so. So it's not small, and it takes time to download. Be patient. You can get more info in the library tab. So next thing you're going to do is open uh, Kali. If you don't see it in here, you can do it through command line command. But if it's not showing up, then there might be something wrong on the back end. So just open up Kali here. It'll open up things saying installing. This may take a few minutes. Enter a username, then hit enter. And then here's where you type your password. It's not going to show anything as you type it, but as soon as you're done, hit enter. If you mistyped, just hit backspace a bunch of times. So I'm going to enter in my password, type it again. The next thing you should do is update the system. So type in sudo. So that runs it as the super user because currently I am not the super user. I have super user rights, but I am not the super user. So sudo apt date and type your password in. So this takes it a minute. So sudo apt upgrade dash y and hit enter. And now it downloads everything. And this is the internet dependent part. Editor's note, this process can take a while, so uh, don't worry about it if it does. Um, that's just how it goes. And then also with this next part, I jumped ahead and realized I needed to cut stuff to keep this short. So just enter that command and it'll install the actual desktop environment slash GUI graphical user interface for Kali so that you can get the full experience instead of just being stuck in this command line, although you should learn how to use the command line sudo apt install dash y kali dash win dash kex kex hit enter this part takes a while because it's got a lot to download so now that it's finished installing paste this command into kali is kex kex dash dash esm dash dash ip dash s then it asks for your password, and then it asks, hey, do you want to connect to this remote desktop session? That is A-OK. -okay. Don't ask again. It's kind of annoying. Because this is remote desktop, you can have this pinned. You can also just have it as a window inside a window, which is great. To shut it down, clicking that will not fully shut it down. It is still running on your computer. It is still sucking up a lot of battery life. So just go into here. Go into command prompt, type in WSL dash dash shut down. Hit enter. Takes a few seconds to execute because it's saving everything and then you're all good. So that is how to install Kali.